Hey everyone, long time no see. So today is August the 7th. Hold on just a second, let me get you guys set up. No, I'm not in my car today. I'm actually in my twin sister's car just pulling up to the job she works at. Um, because I'm just gonna, and then I got my hair down. She does my locks like I said, guys. I know I showed y'all last, but um, yeah, these are my locks. Kind of got like a little braid out in front, and little bangs. Let's empty him. So, let's update you guys on being married in the city of Atlanta. Well, first, hi if you're new like and subscribe hit that little bell down there and give us a thumbs up um welcome to the channel my name is april i am currently in the city of atlanta 34 years old and married and i am explaining why or rather my life being married in the city of atlanta I'm actually about to start writing my new book. I actually already have a book out. I am an author. Um, I have a master's in business administration. Um, and my new book, I haven't came up with a title just yet. I do have a couple of different things that I'm gonna see what I like first. I have already started the new book. The other book is um, out, it's on Amazon, Kindle, and it's currently, um, it's about real estate because I was really, really getting into real estate at one point and I wrote a book about it. So if you like that, it's called AMPM Real Estate um, Investments and it is on Amazon and Kindle, as I said. So update on being married in the city of Atlanta. Right now, me and my husband are currently separated as I am not wanted at his people's house or his home because I have too much moral standards and I guess you could say beliefs. I don't believe people should be out there hurting people, lying, um, et cetera, stealing, all that stuff. You know, call me what you want, goody, goody, two shoes, whatever. Point blank, you should not be out here finessing anyone especially using sexual favors to finesse anyone knowing well good well you're married number one two that you are hiv positive number two now that being said he is taking his medications and as far as i know he is undetectable as far as I know but once again you are married yeah hey he did all right this time what do you guys think okay. so because of that I flipped out and I nutted up on him and his enabler his mom I did go to the Fulton County Police Department and they told me I have a decision to make decision rather to have them locked up for the rest of their lives because they did know the fact that he was HIV positive let alone him her and him or because I love him remain silent and faithful to my husband I should have did my first right my first mind which was to immediately go to the police and put all the police support. And I realize now that they truly don't care. Since I've not been there, things have, when I say hit the fan. I'm not the mm, brightest crown in the box. I'm not the sweetest, nicest person in the world. I'm not, I'm not gonna claim to be. And I'm not going to throw that first stone because Lord knows I got my own sins that I got to answer for. But let's be honest, guys. I you know it's kind of like a little braid out or whatever. And it's coming along. Like I said, y'all don't don't mind me. 
and no makeup on or nothing like that and just <sighs> oh my stars is literally what my shirt say anyway so I wish my husband would understand not only is other people's health at risk because of his status but he's at risk because of his status he's not detectable but he still his his immune system ain't compromised thank you lord um but it's still not good to get sick it's still not good to bring yourself amongst other diseases and stds stis that you can get while you're out here doing hookups you know i understand being single and you know meeting random people one night stands etc etc but i mean i never was the one to do hookups never was the one to have random men that i'm sleeping with it was normally a boyfriend or honestly this is my third marriage so nine times out of ten it was probably a husband so for me i don't get down like that i don't even know what websites and stuff to go on to so for him I guess that's what his thing was, is to finesse people out of their things, money, etc., etc., drugs. That's a big part of it, too, the drugs. And it honestly just got to the point where I'm, I'm tired. So I decided to leave and walk away, and I have. I'm currently at my mom's. I am trying to hold off to see if he's going to act like he wants to be in this marriage or if I should just continue to walk away. As I said, I'm just now starting my new books, guys, so they will be out soon. I haven't officially made a release date, but I'm definitely working on it and it will be out soon. I'm hoping maybe around my birthday, September sometime. Give me about a little couple of weeks. I'm currently not working, so I know that'll definitely give me the time I need to do that. Um, yeah. So, anyways, hope all you are well. I will be starting to make more videos, guys. I'm, I've been slacking on both my marriage situation as well as my sister lock journey. Even though I did do a video the other day, y'all, and my hair was on fleek. She had just retightened it and had everything laying down. Like I said, my little bang. I try to keep it braided so it kind of don't go too far in my face. Because you, you see, right, the boinginess. So, that. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. It's taking its time, but it's getting there. But anyway... I just want you guys to ask yourself something and I'm commenting comment below I just want to know for real for real like am I wrong for not being morally okay with him going out trying to finesse transgender or transsexual women or women period as a man you should be a man get you a job and take care of yourself and if you have a family your family you shouldn't be out here trying to f lie steal and cheat people out of nothing if you're a real man that being said today is august the 8th no the 7th tomorrow's the 8th um, august the 7th 2019 you guys have a wonderful day thank you for watching and if this is your first time on my channel like and subscribe and you guys have a great rest of your day bye